Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Uh, longest continuous subarray with absolute diff less than or equal to limit. Um, so yeah, so for this one, I knew how to do it almost immediately. I was just trying to figure out if there's another uh, more uh, more easy to implement way to do it. I guess model queues is not that hard, but I was just thinking about it uh, because I, and this is why you practice the things that you're a little bit uh, rusty or just not as necessarily good at. Uh, for me, um, album, it was for, the, like I know every, I know all I need to know for, uh, Mono Q or Max Q or whatever um, in terms of algorithm, but my implementation is still a little rusty. So I was a little bit uh, just not uh, confident about implementing Mono Q, especially on the contest. And I know that this is an easy problem. So when I saw this, I know that, like a little bit on a meta thinking level, I was like, okay, all the top programmers are going to get it in like probably three to five minutes, uh, to be frank. Um, and you know, that's where I try, you know, I strive to be. I don't know if I'm there yet, but, um, so here I knew that if I had an off by one or something silly, it's going to cost me five minutes, which is the entire cost of the problem, right? So what I'm doing now, and you can't really see me, is I was looking through my uh, solution archive just to kind of find, I, I thought I implemented this like two or three contests ago. So I was like trying to find that solution uh, so that I could be like, um, so that I could be like, okay. Um, so that I could just have a reference so that I could type it out because I was like, okay, if, if I get a wrong answer, like I said, it's going to cost me five minutes. So let me just make sure that I got a reference solution that is correct. Um, but uh, but yeah, so this, that's what I'm kind of doing now. So you see me like not do anything. Uh, I was also thinking of, so there is another thing that I was thinking of doing, which is I was thinking of using priority queues at this point. Uh, and you can get away with it with priority queues because it's uh, uh, n log n or n log, yeah, roughly n log n. I thought there was a k, but actually in this case, it would be n log n um, in the worst case. Uh, and I was like, okay, n log n, maybe that's okay. Um, but, but I was like, part of that was I was striving to learn something new uh, and trying to be a little bit better for next time. I mean. Because the reason why I'm a little bit rusty now, to be frank, is that I keep on saying I will do better next time. Uh, so I'm. You could say that uh, at this point, I'm. I'm. Um, you know, I'm investing in my future and to getting better at mono cues. Maybe that's how I would think about it. Um, because I could probably, I sh I, if I really was optimizing for just pure contest time, uh, I would have done the priority queue. Uh, like if my life depended on it, the time that I spent on this one. Uh, but yeah, but overall, this is just uh, otherwise a little bit, um, yeah, just template, uh, just template sliding window for me uh, a little bit. Uh, I like to use while loops so that I could, because I know that you could use with for loop for this particular one, but I like to use a while loop because sometimes I like to move right more than once or left more than once. In this case, I always only move, uh, right more than once. Uh, oh, sorry, only move left more than once, but that's just me. You could do, you know, uh, experiment with what, how you feel about things and what your weak points are and, and yeah. Uh, mine are off by one, but that's easy to test and check. Um, but yeah, at this point, I was just straight thinking like, oh, should I, like I was gonna just write it ho out hard and I was like, oh, should I just write a class for this? Like, do I have time to write a class for this? Uh, uh, I just called mono because I was lazy to type it out. Uh, and I, I I remember I saw this from uh, from uh, Alex, a uh, big fan. Check out his uh, Discord channel as well while you're at the chance. Uh, I always hang out there just to kind of give a plug. And I always have a Discord channel, so hang out there if you have a chance if you're watching this. Uh, but I did get this idea from uh, Alex, uh, so that's kind of what I was leading to. But I was like. Uh, this is like heavy and there's like a lot of work. So should I just like, um, yeah, and then you see me like 
spent time here as well, being like, ah, should I just do this? I ended up spending about nine minutes on this farm. So like, and a lot of that was investing in stuff like this. Um, but yeah, but that was just like, just do it. Okay, what does it mean? All right, let's get the number first. Uh, I like to put in a variable so that I don't have to keep on numbers that uh, sub right because also sometimes you just keep on misclicking on stuff uh, or like having typos. Uh, and this is just a little bit shorter and it's an ADS. Um, and then now I'm trying to think a little bit of, um, yeah. And this is just, right now, it is basic MonoQ code. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with uh, how MonoQ works, um, uh, and for my variant, it is the big Q or the, the max Q. Uh, and there's a min Q, obviously, for the smallest. But the idea is that uh, you keep a Q of numbers that will allow you to figure out the max and the min, or well, the one, each Q allows you to figure out one element, uh, one thing about it. In this case, uh, it's the max, and there's another Q for the min, uh, and then that's what essentially what I did. Um, and yeah, I'm a little bit rusty about it at this point, but I mean, I'm still okay. And I'm I'm a little bit slower than I am on the typing side because I just wanted to make sure I was right uh, and not rush this uh, because again, I'm not familiar with it, and that's what practice would get you. Uh, and I haven't practiced MonoQ at all, like in my in my life slash career, uh, because fun story while we're watching Larry slowly type out the MonoQ code is that um, this used to be like a cute little programming trick a long time ago, and now it got like popular and uh, and only like the last like uh, I say like recently, but like probably the last decade, and now like you see articles and stuff like this on it, uh, and but like for me, I just never practiced when I was learning about all these things. Uh, it was just a neat little trick that comes up once in a while, but now it feels like, for whatever reason, the meta of competitive programming, if you will, uh, it's a little bit, uh, yeah, the meta, uh, have more of these problems more and more. Um, but, but yeah, also, I think one thing I need to do though <laughs> while I'm thinking about this it, uh, is that, um, yeah, and now I'm just writing the code for popping off like if, if if the max and the min is bigger than the limit, then we pop off the queue. Uh, and I do have an index of uh, out of bounds here because I didn't insert the element. Um, but yeah, I need to practice doing this in C++ as well uh, at some point uh, so that um, I could do better in other contexts as well, perhaps. Um, but yeah, and I also forgot to increment left. I just noticed. I, I, that's the one thing with Wildo for me is that I always forget to in, do that. Uh, yeah, and the answers are white except for off by one, which you know uh, I noticed. Uh, so I was like, oh, uh, white minus left. Oh yeah, you have to do inclusive. So I'll, that make that doesn't make sense off by one because if it, you have an off by one uh, and it doesn't make sense, then like you still should check it. Otherwise, you're gonna pay for it in five minutes. Wrong answers. Um, but but yeah, and I just wanted to check out like how to get um. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I was just trying to find out an answer for which the answer is zero, and I thought about it a little bit, and I couldn't come up with one. So, and it makes sense because at least your uh, element is going to be have one element. So, but yeah, that's Q three. But yeah, long longest contiguous uh, uh longest continuous subarray with absolute diff less than or equal to limit. Uh, yeah, I. I think I was just want to be careful because so what I was doing in the beginning was just pulling out my um, my quote unquote mono Q code or whatever, um, uh, and that's basically it, the entire problem. I knew how to do this immediately, but I just wanted to make sure that my coding was right. So I, because I, I'm still uh, you know your viewer of this channel, I'm still a little bit uh, rusty with the um, the mono Q uh, or max Q or min Q implementations, uh, both. Especially if I want to do it uh, correctly, I didn't want to risk uh, doing it off by one, though uh, if you saw the way I did it, this is actually pretty clean. Um, well, I mean, you could abstract them into different uh, data structures, but uh, in terms of not making off by ones and stuff like this, I was pretty good. Um, but yeah, you just keep a max queue and a min queue, uh, and then keep track for it all when you uh, 
and then you do a sliding window. You move to the right. Uh, is the biggest and the smallest still uh, within the window? Uh, if so, then you know, pop off and so forth. And that's what I. I mean, I'm a little hand wavy, but basically, uh, if you input a number, you or when you process a number uh, on the right side, you uh, you check to see if the max Q minus the min Q is still within K uh, or the limit. Um, and if it's not the limit anymore, then you have to start popping elements until it is within that limit. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, and I, I did some additional checking because I was like, oh, because there is a no subway satisfied the given condition, return zero, but at every input has uh, at least one element. That's why I paused a little bit just to make sure because I've been also been sloppy with uh, edge cases, so I just want to make sure on this one. Um, but yeah, overall, that's pretty much it. And if you're having trouble understanding this part, just, you know, um, yeah, read up on uh, mono Q, max Q, or min Q, and um, yeah, and not the priority version. So you could do it with priority queues as well if you really wanted to, uh, and that would have been just fine. Because um, I thought about that, but I was like, eh, just do it right. I uh, didn't want to risk it. Uh, cool.